Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Industrial Disputes Tribunal has ordered the scandal-scarred Petrogem to pay former human resource manager Rosalie Scott Heron the equivalent of 12 months' salary. Scott Heron, who was being paid $9.8 million a year, was terminated by a former general manager, Floyd Grinley, without following due process. Unions representing workers at the University of Technology Jamaica have charged that the absence of adequate funding has caused a difficult working environment. Staff and students this morning protested, demanding increased government subventions. Come March next year, the government will begin releasing half a million sterile male mosquitoes a week to help reduce the population of the female Aedes aegypti, which spreads dengue virus. There have been 1,166 suspected, presumed or confirmed dengue cases since the recent outbreak. Pele Shoe Source is reporting that the decision to close stores in the United States and Puerto Rico will not affect operations in the Caribbean and Latin America. All 2,100 stores in the U.S. and Puerto Rico will be closed by May, and Payless also plans to pull its online operations. In sports, experienced sports medicine practitioner Dr. Paul Wright says Jamaican long-distance runner Kemoy Campbell has a 50-50 chance of returning to compete at his best again. Campbell collapsed while competing at the Milrose Games in New York on February 9 and is still recovering in hospital. In year currency trading today, one U.S. dollar was being sold for $133.35, the British pound sterling for $175.41 and the Canadian dollar for $102.50. In your weather forecast, Thursday will be mainly sunny and windy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.